No Red Ink is a free computer program that works great on the Chromebooks. And what it does is it allows students to practice to mastery uh, their grammar skills and writing skills. So contractions, capital letters, um, vocabulary, all sorts of different things. So what we're seeing right now on the screen is a student working through an assignment. And so you can see this one's practicing uh, who's versus who's in the sense of a contraction. Um, there's tips that come along. Um, the student gets instant feedback whether they have gotten it correct or not. And um, they can have tips. You'll see right there that says not quite. It gives a little tip. They reread. And they're going to keep trying until uh, they get a certain number right. So from this page to show the kids contractions in whichever curriculum aspect you're working on, you can actually click on assign more practice or assign a quiz right in this right hand corner which is really great. I have actually done that because I was looking through my kids, it was on capitals when we were working on it and I looked down and we had a lot of these um, level 2 achieved and level 3 achieved but I didn't think, I, I want 100%. Not so, much mastery going on. Yeah. So we did another, I just assigned more practice which you can just do here. And then I would assign a new assignment. So this is just like assigning an initial assignment. So I would assign it to my LA 6 to 8 class. I can say when it's going to start. I can assign my due date. And then I name it whatever. And these are, it's going to make them practice it all again. So it's the same thing I um, had them practice before. But they're going to have to read. So to create a new assignment, you just go to your assignment page and you click create new assignment. Super easy. Um, so for mine, I, you can pick any of the ones that I already talked about. So I'm gonna show a practice. That's what I use most often. So these are all the curriculum outcomes. So if I wanted to do, let's say commonly confused words, which we have worked on, I get to pick any of these. So we can focus on a lot versus a lot or no versus no. And if you want an example of a question, you can just click on this little um, eyeball and it shows you an example of the question which is really cool because then you can see exactly what they're going to be working on. So then maybe I just want to do these two or I can click them all if I want to but I'll just assign those and it also gives you the estimated time it'll get them to master it. And so I'm going to click that I'm assigning it to my LA 6 to 8 and I'll call it tricky words and then you can assign how many points for the whole assignment. They give you an estimated one on how many mm -hmm. questions there is. So I usually go for it unless it's a paper or a quick write or something and I want to change it. And then you can allow late submissions or not, depending. I usually don't click this because wow. kids will take advantage of I do. <laughs> so I always take this off. And my due date, I always make sure it's like at the end of class that day or next day. And then I assign it. And then it pops up right on the kids' home screen. So it'll come up on theirs right here. So. If I was one of my students, this is what I would see. And they do get to pick their little background, so that's fun too. Tell me about why your page, this is you as a student, why does it say Hunger Games? How did that happen? When the students first sign up for No Red Ink, they get to make their own account. And No Red Ink will ask them questions like what their favorite movie is, what books they like to read, what sports they like to play, and then No Red Ink actually uses this as a basis for the questions that they ask the students, as well as the background of their No Red Ink platform. So it engages the students because it's all about like what they are really interested in.